hey, 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 Bible Activities for Kids family. I want to welcome you to episode number 17 of our Bible in a Year series. I am so, 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 so glad that you are here. Now today, our Bible in a Year story comes from Joshua chapter 7, and we're going to read together verse 6. As usual, I'll give you some time to find the Bible verse. All right, I think you would have found it by now. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. And Joshua 7, 6 says, Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell on the earth on his face before the ark of the Lord until evening. He and the elders of Israel, and they put dust on their heads. Now, boys and girls, something was happening that made Joshua do this. Now, in Bible times, when people were sad or when they were they had done something sinful, like, you know, in a way to show their grief about their sorrow for what had happened, this is what they would typically do. And so we know that Joshua was sad about something. Something had happened that Joshua was not happy about. Now, what was it? Well, the children of Israel had gone to fight a small city named Ai. Now remember from the last story, they had fought Jericho and they had been successful. They had won. And so now they went to a smaller city named Ai to fight the people there. But instead of winning, they lost. And they wondered, how could God do this to us? Like, how did this happen? Why is it that we didn't win? And so that's when Joshua, he tore his clothes, fell on the earth upon his face before the ark of the Lord. He wanted to know why. And then he found out why. The Lord told him that there was somebody in the camp who had done something wrong. That person had disobeyed what God had said. When they had taken Jericho, when they had won Jericho, God had told them, don't take anything that you see there. Don't take it back with you. But there was somebody that took something that they should not have. Now, who was this person? Now, boys and girls, do you like playing hide and seek? I like playing hide and seek. And I can see that some of you also like playing hide and seek. Well, this was a game of hide and seek because how would Joshua find out Amidst all the millions of people who had taken what they should not have. Well, the person who had taken it, he felt he was safe. I mean, there were so many people. How would anybody know that he had taken it? And as Joshua started to call the family names and people were coming one by one, they reached his family name. And he started to get really nervous. And then his name was called and his heart sank. Oh no, he had been caught. And Joshua said, give me, I pray thee. Make confession and tell us what you have done. Do not hide it from us. And this man, his name was Achan. And Achan confessed. He says, yes, when I went to Jericho, I saw this beautiful coat, this beautiful garment. And I thought that I would take it. And so I took it and I hid it. Now, boys and girls, Achan was punished for this wrong that he had done. He had chosen to be disobedient and not only did he get caught, but he had allowed the Israelites to lose the battle.
because he had disobeyed God's commands. You know, sometimes we do things that are wrong and we try to hide it like a game of hide and seek. And we hope that nobody seeks and finds it. But here we are reminded in this story the importance of doing what God commands and not trying to hide our wrong. Today, boys and girls, I encourage you as I encourage my own self that we should choose to do the right. And if we have done something wrong, we should go to God and we should let him know and we should confess our sins. Because the Bible says that if we confess our sins, if we tell God that we are sorry for what we have done, God will forgive us. God will give us a second chance. And so boys and girls, I want to thank you for joining us today. And guess what? We'll see you next time in our next podcast. Mm-hmm.